Welcome to part two of my afflictions guide. Check out the card in the top right for part one, which covers the benefits in the game. In this episode, we're going to cover the injuries. Injuries are, as you would expect, physical ailments experienced by the player. There are two injuries unique to the Halloween event, which I will not be covering in this video. Also note that at time of writing, we know the cougar will be added into the game, but not how it will operate. Thus, some of the following information will become incomplete as the DLC adds new content. Lastly, note that one Rosehip T is always equal to two painkillers, and one Raishi T is always equal to two antibiotics for treating injuries. Anyway, let's get into it. Blood loss. Blood loss is caused by struggles with wolves, timber wolves, and bears, and by falling large distances. The affliction decreases your condition by 30% per hour and requires treatment with a bandage. Without care, this affliction can very quickly end your run. You may also gain more than one blood loss affliction, which stack and must all be treated separately. You should pretty much always carry either bandages or cloth to make bandages. Be aware that bleeding will also increase the player's scent, attracting even more predators to your location. Now, a moose struggle will never cause blood loss. However, it will always result in broken ribs. After a struggle with a moose, the player will be given the broken ribs affliction. It decreases your stamina by 50% and decreases your carrying capacity by 25%. Without use of an emergency stim, it is impossible to climb ropes or roots. You treat broken ribs with two treatments of a bandage and four painkillers, and it also requires 120 hours or five days of rest. Should you be attacked by a moose again, you can gain broken ribs once more However, the effect doesn't stack, only the recovery time will increase. Take care when hunting moose to avoid broken ribs. Bruising. Bruising is a general injury that is gained from wildlife struggles or falling. Upon receiving it, your condition drops by 5% and the effect will shortly disappear, without restoring the lost condition of course. It cannot be treated and increases future condition loss. Burns. Burns occur from walking over a lit campfire like an idiot being too close to an exploding noisemaker, or by walking on electrified wires during an aurora. This can be a quite unforgiving affliction. If your condition is above 75%, it will drop to 75% and cannot increase above it until treated. Burns will heal naturally after 30 hours, or can be treated with a bandage and two painkillers. The real danger of burns comes from the source. By standing in a campfire, on a wire, or in electrified water, you will very quickly lose condition and die within a second or two. Thus, be careful where you walk at night because a sudden aurora can kill you almost instantly. I can also add that in story mode at least, some electrified wires act as a hitbox and cannot be sprinted past. You'll simply die if you try. I figured that out the hard way. Frostbite. You gain frostbite risk when you expose part of the player's body to freezing temperatures. This can occur because the body part is uncovered by clothing or covered by frozen clothing. The colder and less covered your body is, the faster your risk rises. When it rises too high, the player will receive frostbite. Frostbite has no cure and will permanently decrease your condition by 10% for every instance of frostbite. At most, a player can have 5 instances of frostbite resulting in a decrease of 50% condition permanently. Take extreme care to avoid this affliction, especially at the start of an interloper run. Laceration. Lacerations are similar to bruises. You gain them from struggles or falls, and they decrease your condition by 10 to 20%, and they cannot be treated. Pain. Pain is caused by struggles, falls, and sprains. It is accompanied by a slightly blurry vignette, and otherwise does nothing except prevent the reading of books. It will go away naturally after four hours, or can be treated by two painkillers. Often then, it is likely best to leave it untreated to avoid wasting painkillers. Sprains. Sprains occur from struggles, falling, or most often in my case, from walking on steep terrain while encumbered. A sprained ankle prevents sprinting and climbing and can only be treated by either a bandage or four hours of sleep. A sprained wrist will prevent climbing, use of the rifle, and use of the bow. If both wrists are sprained, then you cannot use revolvers, distress pistols, and stones. It will be treated with a bandage or two hours of sleep. Often sprains are more of a nuisance than anything else, 
as uneven terrain can be unforgiving at times. You can reduce the risk of sprains by traveling unencumbered, avoiding steep terrain, or using crampons. Suffocation. Suffocation is a new affliction that is unavoidable in episode 4 of Story Mode. It currently only occurs in two places, on the third floor of the last prospect mine in the Blackrock region, as well as during the prison collapse sequence of episode 4. In survival mode, the affliction can only be gained in the mine. When you are in an area filled with toxic gas or smoke, you will gain the suffocation affliction. A timer will begin counting down seconds in real time. As it approaches zero, the player's vision and hearing deteriorates. Once it reaches zero, the player dies. You can treat it by exiting the gas or smoke. This affliction is only an issue if the player is encumbered or unable to navigate. Sprinting does not affect the timer and is often the best strategy. Sprint through the area and get out as soon as possible. Anyway, that's it for now. Certain injuries will be unavoidable in the long dark, but hopefully now you are more prepared for them. In the next episode, I'll wrap up this series by covering the last set of afflictions, the diseases. See you then.